Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing all of my Overwatch merch. I've been playing Overwatch for about four years now and I have around 650 hours into the game. My most played heroes are Bastion on number one. Don't hate me, I just enjoy the character. Diva on number two and on on number three, but I played her a lot in the beginning, but it was a bit more Wrecking Ball who's on number four. So Diva, Bastion and Wrecking Ball. I don't really play healing. I don't like playing healing, so I just keep it to tank to like doing the damage. I have a lot of merch because I prefer buying real life things over buying skins online. I like the free skins so Overwatch 2 is kind of a struggle for me with how expensive they are which is rather to buy a mug or a t-shirt for the same price that I have a digital skin but that's whatever. Without further ado let's get started. Starting off with the generic items the first thing we have is a little cap. This is actually my boyfriend's but we live together so we have it on display. It's just a generic baseball cap. He doesn't wear it so we just have it out on our living room. We have a lot of weird decorations in their house. There's a lot of plushies and just game stuff that we like so this is also one of our decorations. Next up is a Pachimari. I got this one from AliExpress. Uh, actually I got it from a friend. <laughs> I just liked it a lot. It has a little squeaky toy inside. It's just the simple one. I know there's a lot of Pachimaris, like keychains and stuff. I wanted those, but they're kind of pricey for like how big they are. So I only have the generic one, which is also displayed in our living room. And the last for the overall Overwatch merch item that I have is the Overwatch cookbook. And this is one of my favorite items and like the most unique ones I have. As you can see, there's a lot of tabs in here because I, I just went through everything and I see uh, which one I wanted to do. I've made several ones of these, like the Junkrat bubble tea, the May chocolate milk, which was absolutely terrible. I think I also made the Widowmaker drink and the Bastion like pretzel birds. This cookbook is a lot of fun and I definitely recommend picking this up. I'm really hoping that in a year or two when there are way more characters in Overwatch 2 that they're also gonna release a number two cookbook. This is definitely a super unique item and definitely a good gift. And maybe for the Christmas season you wanna give something unique to someone you know. This is like such a good recommendation. This book is so much fun. Starting off with our first tank and my favorite, Diva, wasn't be surprised. I think most of the merch that I have is for her and I think Bastion maybe. So let's get into it. Starting off with the cutlery. I also, this I think is also my top favorite items that I have. It's a Nano Diva, if you know the skin. It's a Nano Diva Cola and it's made out of aluminum and it has a plastic cup with a seal that comes off and you can put your drink in and it actually stays cold. It has all a really cool design on it. It looks like exactly like it would in game. I got this off AliExpress for only like 10 euros or something so this is very unique and i love it a lot and i actually use it next up i have this diva mug it has her diva logo on the front and it has one of the sprays on the back this one i thrifted but i think it was just from the overwatch store next up we have her gun so i have a plastic replica that my boyfriend had but i just kind of grabbed it and put it in my room i don't know where he got it from i think he said gamestop uh, but it was a while ago it has the scuff marks even on it and i just love having this on display i have one of those ikea grids where i put it on so it really looks like a weapon grid and i wish i had more guns but this is definitely also a favorite of mine and then I have the Overwatch Nerf collaboration. They had a collab also with the Tracer and the Torbjorn gun as you can see on the back. It comes with two darts which isn't a lot. I've used this before and it's a lot of fun but I also kept the packaging so I can also put it on display because I just love the way this looks. I wish I picked up the other two but I didn't have the money at the time so I just got this one. Moving on to the clothing for Diva. Starting off I have this Jinx hoodie. I think I wear this one one of the most. I thrifted this also like a really good price so I couldn't pass on on it. On the back it says Nerve This and the sleeves have all the collection collaboration and the blizzard logo like she has on her mecha and on the front it just has her diva bunny and it has white straps and on the side it says mecha it's so cool it's so casual i i love wearing this one out and i also have this collaboration code by we love fine this one is super high quality also thrifted for a really really good price i try and keep an eye out often for online sites to get really good deals the same thing with the logos but this time around they are like with like real patches it's super soft and silky and the inside has her bunny pattern and on the other side we have a zipper pocket the mecca we also have some pockets on the side with the overwatch logo on the button also a very casual piece that people wouldn't know about overwatch but i can still express myself you know then we have a hoodie with the collaboration Poirin arc 8 edition they also have a mercy a hammond a tracer and a widowmaker and this is the diva version this one is also super high quality i bought this full price but 
it was really, really worth it. And on the back, it has a special drawing of Diva. I really, really like this one. It's very warm for winter as well. We have the Diva embroidered on the front. And then the last item for Diva, I have her Game Over. This is not official. I got this from Amazon, but it's a one piece. It's really cute. And on the back, it says Nerve This. I don't wear this one too often because I bought it way too big for some reason. But I do think it's cute, even though it's not official. You can kind of tell. I forgot to add, I also also have this diva keycap which is made out of metal and has a shiny bunny on the top and their diva logo on the side and i also have this power a controller wireless for the nintendo switch it is so gorgeous i imported it all the way from i think australia because i wanted it so bad and it broke power a is shit do not buy any controllers from them i have bought three or four learn from my mistake don't buy any power a they're shit they're cute they're cute for display this is a shit controller it's cute though all right Moving on to my number two tank, Orissa. I'll be honest, I don't have anything except for this Funko. I like her a lot. I don't like Funkos, but this one doesn't look like a Funko because she doesn't have the black eyes. She's kind of cute. It's a really big one. I know they also have the Roadhog one and the Diva one as big, and I would kind of like the Diva one as well. Those are way more pricey. This was a gift for me, so I don't know where they got it from, but I really like this one. Then we have my baby Hammond Wrecking Ball. I started playing Overwatch because my friend told me, oh, do you know about this shooter? And they have a hamster and I'm like, you can play a hamster because my username used to be hamsterbolox even before I started playing. So I was like, I want to play this game. So all owes to him. First up, I have this plush I got from GameStop on sale. Not too long ago, actually. Uh, I kept the box because I think it looks nice for display. I'm all about display. He is super soft. He has a little backpack that you can actually open up and it has space to put like something in his back. I don't know what to put it in, so I leave it on. His harness you can remove, I think. It feels loose everywhere, but I don't know why you would take it off so i'm just leaving it on he's really soft he's really cute i love him so much we have the hammond wrecking ball lego version they have released a few lego which i have two sets of this would be one of them i don't like that they released the reinhardt and diva together and they're apparently very small compared to some other sets they have but this is the wrecking ball one this was a birthday gift from a friend i really like it he can fold up like the real hammond does and he pops out and everything the details are amazing it wasn't too hard to put together i used to be really into lego not as much anymore but the, the overwatch one are really cute also they don't make these anymore since overwatch 2 got released so if you can grab them for a good price uh, i would definitely recommend doing so because they're just going to go up in price because they won't produce these anymore since overwatch 2 came out and then my last hammond item is a super cute t-shirt that i thrifted i got it for a really good price again i know this was on the blizzard store as well i was debating on getting it but i ended up not but this was only like three or four euros so i couldn't pass on it it has a very cartoony style it almost looks like it has velvet on it but it doesn't and i just oh it's so cute i love this one so much i can't wait to wear this a ton on to dps in no particular order we have this cute but deadly junk pack figurine i think this is one of the ugliest items that i own for overwatch i really hate it i think the cuba deadlies are really really ugly i don't know what i'm gonna do with this this has been a box until this video i really don't like these so moving on <laughs> and we have these two espresso mugs for, with hanzo and genji on it i don't play either my boyfriend plays a lot of hanzo hands I got in the set. Uh, we don't drink espresso, so again, we just have this on display. Uh, it has the characters as well on the back. We don't we don't use this. It's just there. I think it's cute though. So we have a tracer mug. This is kind of in the same theme as the diva one. My boyfriend is kind of a, a tracer main, so I got him this one, and I had the diva one, so we get a refreshing, you know. It has the tracer spray on the front and her logo on the back as well. It's just a simple mug. Then for May, I have the bubble tea skin as a T-shirt. They released this T-shirt on the blue this is store the moment around that the skin got released i think almost a few years ago now and i love bubble tea i love may i think she's so cute and i thought this print was just adorable it is so cute i love this one a lot again this is kind of a graphic tee no one would really recognize if you don't play overwatch and it wouldn't look weird you know if you wear this out on the back it also has the logo though it's kind of big i wish they didn't have this but it's really big on the, on the back and it has the same colors as the front i think this t-shirt is really cute <laughs> for widowmaker it is the same sweater from the collaboration i mentioned earlier with arc a this is what i got my boyfriend last year so we can be bashing you know i'm diva he's a widow he also plays a lot of widow so it has her eyes on the front and it has a really cool graphic design on the back as you can see she looks so cool and she has her little logo on the front pocket as well as diva did so these are really cool this is what i had the hammond one too because i really like the one but they're kind of really pricey so maybe in the future if they're ever gonna go 
sale. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but the widow one. For our last DPS right now, we have, of course, my little Bastion. I know he gets so much hatred for like being lazy and it really got me discouraged for a while, but I think he's so cute. Like Diva and Bastion and Hammond are like my like the cutest characters in the game. So I have this really big Lego version. He even goes full into turret mode and he has a little light on the back of his head that lights up and I think it's adorable. And even his little birdie is there. I, I'm really happy with this one. Again, these are not being made anymore. So if you can find this for a good price, I definitely recommend picking that one up. And then I also have a, a Cuba Deadly Bastion, but these are the bigger versions. You can big out yourself. I like this one. It's cute. I just keep it in the box because if you take it out, it's just tiny so i just use again on display and then last but not least the healing this is so sad i told you i don't play healing so all i have is a little anna with the i don't know what this skin is called but she's cute because you can't see your face i got this on accident clearly because i don't know why i bought two of the cute but deadly ones i think maybe it's been a gift i don't know so that's all i have to show for the healing it's just this little figurine it's not glory i'm really excited for overwatch 2 and to see what it's coming from uh, i am not too happy about it being free to play as in the battle pass system but everyone's already been over that so i'm not gonna start a whole discussion about it i hope in the future to do another updated video maybe if we get some more stuff anyway that was my whole collection thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed have a great day and i'll see you in the next one uh, bye